Yet again, another video making rampage where we continue off on the search for Krunk to where we left off, where I was this giant behemoth. Interesting thing to note, what you're going to want to do here is try to destroy those as quickly as you can. Ignore them, ignore them, ignore them, and oh, ooh, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Now he's alive in the room. Uh, jeez. You know what? Let me just check these while I'm here. Yep, washers, washers everywhere. Yeah, so bust every computer console you can. This is where your uh, little buddy here comes in handy. Grab this ASAP. Not even kidding you. As soon as possible. They freak out. Okay, so with those destroyed, those were actually spawning these dudes, and that is incredibly painful to uh, get stuck with. I think I got him. I think I did that pretty well. Let's just kill him like that because he's getting too close. I missed one over there. There. Okay, so this room is... Oh! Nice job, turdbot. It's about time you cleared those guys out. I've been hiding up here for a f***ing month, living off oil puddles and tin scraps. I thought you were captured. I escaped, dumbass. These shills couldn't hold a conversation. Anyway, I hacked one of the consoles and got some info. Corrosive stole some research from Exavolt and is using him to help figure out the secret to all this Morbot crap. Something about the Morbots being gone and they're trying to find out where they went or some shit. It also looks like Corrosive was using all our f***ing ore to build some sort of space station. My guess is that they're planning to get the f*** out of Dodge. Space station? So that's where Flax tried to transmit the location of Droid Town. Way to piece it together, Jack. You find my Morbot power chip yet because I know for a fact that Corrosive wants it to get into the f***ing Morbot region. I went over to two. No chip and no zombie. That mod is almost as useless as you. He lost himself. Now jump up here and let's go get that chip. I can't. It's too high. It's too high. My head <laughs> fell off. It's always something with you f***ing box. Okay, I think I can get through up here. I'll see if I can go around and unlock the door. I'll use my control tether to make those vermin f***ers blast themselves. <laughs> it's too high. My head fell off. I missed a lot of free swag in that room from washers to weapon ammo. But I did uh, do great on that level. So that's a speed chip and all the secret chips. So we're going to continue this one. I'm probably going to be able to finish this level too before we run out. This level is called um, Effing Crunked. Oops. Okay, well, let's fix that. That was my bad, guys. Yeah, we have Effing Crunked. So there's a lot of free stuff in the room. Before you kill off all the dudes and break the regenerators, you should probably take a look around. There's a fire buddy in there too, but it's not like you could use it. So here we, this is like the second level we where we play as someone other than Glitch, and we play as Krunk. And, uh, hold on. I know you have EMP grenades. Use them to slow those big guys down long enough to give them the old loop check. This is the level where they introduced the other big key selling feature for uh, Metal Arms glitching the system, which was the ability to um, take control of your enemies. By the way, if you're wondering why they're attacking each other, this is the robot saying this out. Wait. Come to Butthead. So, yeah, I can play as whoever I want, whenever I want. And the idea here is you want to be destroying these guys. Of course, they start you off with a grunt, but everyone here is fair game. Everyone has a control tether point on their back, and I mean everyone, except Zombots, of course. And the idea here is sneak in, get behind them, and take control of them, right? See the running legs and whatnot, you can't take them. They have to, I think the rules state that they have to have, like, they have to be able to work, right? And they, where are they? It can virtually work on anyone as long as they don't see you, right? That Titan is too, I guess, hardcore for me to... Oh, no, wait, wait. And I'm a Titan now. So the shoe's on the other foot. I'm big, mean fighting machine. Quite literally. 
So of course everyone has their own controls. Of course the Titan, with his big double machine guns and his rocket launcher, still functions fairly well. You have to watch your machine gun; it overheats, which I think is ridiculous because they don't overheat and they shoot at you. I can usually clear this level out with one Titan, and yes, you are just as tough as a normal Titan. Uh, yes. Here's something fun. If you jump in the air and double tap it, you create a shockwave that pushes small guys away from you. Oh boy. Oh, if I'm going out, I'm going out with a boom. Ha, I beat him with all my crazy arms. Yeah, if you, uh, uh what's the way to put this? If you, uh, hmm, jump, you can push everyone away from you. And, uh, oh boy. Wait. This is what EMPs are for later, by the way. You put them down and then you just control them. Yeah, it kills small dudes. And if you're playing multiplayer with your friends, jump on them. They die automatically. Uh, let's see. I think there's like probably like one more dude in here. The idea of this level is very simple. It's really just a speed chip level. Kill everyone in the room and then you get the cutscene that leads to the next part. So when you've killed everyone, there's only one way to do like... Uh, Krunk doesn't have any weapons of his own, so what you have to do here is you have to park him in these, like, things. And then hold B and you start losing the signal automatically. Just lose his Something fun to note, that torch on his arm, if you move it towards a wall, it burns the wall. Isn't that cute? I think that's a uh, devotion right there. Anyway, run up to these things. There's a green switch on the wall. You saw me do it to that grunt earlier. It kills them automatically. And then find the door and you're done. That was actually a lot shorter than I figured it would be. Whoop. 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 Ha ha! Take that, you f***ing shit bags! My control tether worked like a champ! Okay, you take it with you in case you need it. Bet the Exavolt never came up with nothing like that. I left the rat in the motor pool. Meet me there once you caught up with Flax. And don't come back! Without my f***ing chip this time! Does anyone else find it funny how I'm working on not swearing through this playthrough, but he swears more than anyone else? Regardless, that's how you beat that level with, like, one wicked sweet score. Uh, I'm actually gonna stop here because the next level is actually incredibly long, but we're getting close to my favorite part of the game. So, uh, quick uh, video today, but um, I should have like five or six up today by the end of the day anyway, so I'm sure you won't mind. Anyway, thanks for joining me in uh, Let's Play Metal Arms, whatever part we happen to be on. I stopped counting because I'm going to just do it in the editing process. And uh, join us next time when we tackle whatever level I happen to be on. So thanks for watching, and uh, keep cool.